Welcome to Customizing Kali Linux, or I guess any Linux distro because everything we're doing here is pretty basic for all Linux operating systems. So the first thing that we're going to do, the first, first thing that we're going to be doing like the real first thing is going to settings. So the top right corner, you just click and then go to settings. We're gonna go to keyboard shortcuts. So once we're in the keyboard shortcuts here, we're gonna go all the way to the very bottom. We're gonna click this little plus right here at the bottom. And for the name, we're just gonna call this one terminal. And short, or the command for this one is going to be gnome dash terminal. And then for the shortcut, the classic, control alt T. I'm gonna add that, control alt T. And now we have a keyboard shortcut to open terminals. Uh, sudo app update. Uh, I gotta enter the password, which is the space bar. So we're not gonna be doing the 1103 current updates that need to be done yet. We're gonna do that in a minute. Uh, sudo app install gnome tweaks. Yes. We can just start cleaning some stuff up here. Tweaks, we can go through here and we can change a whole bunch of stuff now. So appearance, you can change your theme. So if you want a light theme and you're that kind of monster, then you could do that, but we're gonna keep it here. You can change your icons and everything, background, whatever. You can do that other places as well. But this is the one that I want, extensions. I like to clean it up a lot. So the applications menu right here, you know, all of these can be found just by swiping to the corner and we can just type for whatever we want so i i don't want that and then the screen recording that's built in i personally just don't like using it so i'm just going to turn that off that gets rid of this little icon that's right here in the corner so you can see on off the places indicator i also don't want that you can keep going a little bit further down here the workspace indicator so that's going to say what workspace we're on but again you can just snap to the corner and you have all of your workspaces right here so i don't need that either going back through some other ones here we have fonts keyboard and mouse inputs a startup application so another thing that i like to do just to make it a little bit easier is i'll actually make terminal start while well, on boot so as soon as it starts terminal opens um, for this one here we're not going to do that because i'm going to be dailying this laptop for a few other uses as well as things so i'm going to keep this as incognito as possible. So the top bar here, kind of neat with the uh, HP laptops, there's a setting on older ones that you have to enable to actually get the, the battery percentage. Uh, I can't remember if I already did that on this one, but it is working. So either this one just works out of the box or I had previously enabled that in the bio so that way it would work. It was something to do with like battery monitoring or something. And then up here, the clock, you can turn on like the weeks, days, seconds, whatever. Yeah, title bars, we're not gonna change anything here. The windows, we're not gonna change anything in here. And then again, the workspaces, I like the dynamic ones. So that way, if for whatever reason, I just wanted to move this, I could just click, drag, move it, done. Now we're on a different workspace for this. Basically, now we're just gonna play this waiting game, 1089 packages. So, sudo app upgrade. Yes, so that's going to install all 1089 packages. I'm just going to show you a couple more tools really quick. So, uh, sudo app install neofetch. Yes, so this one's pretty neat. Shows all of your system specs right here. So you can see that we're on the HP Spectre X360. We're running the latest Linux kernel and the latest version of Kali Linux and everything. Uh, resolution is 1920 by 1080. Actually. That's another thing we can get into. So we can actually customize Grub because uh, by default, I believe it's like 640 by 480, so it's 480p, but you'll have seen that when we booted and everything was really big. Okay, so let's change Grub stuff. To do nano, uh, etc. Default Grub. Some things that I want to go over here, 
So this is your main entry. So because we only have one operating system on this computer currently, there is the recovery and everything. So we're just gonna leave this as zero because that's gonna boot directly into Kali. But right here we have the timeout, which is five. So we can change that to whatever we want. So if we move the cursor here, we can make it 10 seconds. Now we're going to have 10 seconds of time to pick between whatever options we want. Ideally, I will be making this zero in the long run, just so it always boots into Kali because if anything happens to this, it's a burner operating system. So I'm just gonna wipe it regardless. If you remove quiet and you just leave it blank, it's just going to boot text. It's gonna, it's gonna show you everything that's running. If we add splash to this, it's now going to boot with the text disabled and it's going to add the splash screen. So we can actually see the Kali splash screen when it turns on, it'll show the little icon and everything. Now in this bottom section here, one thing that we can do is we can uncomment any of these to add these options in. And this is the default resolution here. However, for fail safe, I'm going to leave that. I'm gonna add a new one. And this is going to be grub uh, GFX mode. I'm going to go equals, and we're going to do 1920 by 1080. So that way it actually uses the full resolution and everything will look as modern as it should. So now to save this, we're just going to do control X. Uh, it's asking here in the bottom left if we want to save it. I'm going to say yes, and we're going to overwrite the current one, enter. And now we're going to do uh, sudo update grub. Now it's updating all of the changes that we made, and now we're going to do uh, sudo power off reboot. So now you can see that we have 10 seconds available for this. Okay, let's see if we can even change the wall here. Let's add a line, grub background, let's see if we can do that. Uh, so this, uh, we're going to need a path. Let's go to here, pictures. Uh, let's just drag this. Yeah, there we go. So now we have our path. Control X, Y, yes. And let's update Grub and then reboot. Let's go back and change the timeout to zero. Update Grub and reboot again. Let's see if it just skips that entirely. Yeah, there we go. That's normal. And we have the boot splash, which doesn't even get to complete before we're at the login screen. Deadly. Okay. Now, one thing that I noticed was Cali 20 actually has a lot of things that I would normally change already integrated. So one, for instance, is when you're opening a browser, it would normally keep the dock on the side regardless and you would just have this random bar that's sitting there so they've already made it so it auto hides it knows when a window is coming up so that's pretty cool we can just customize this a bit so we're going to customize and then down here at the bottom we can go to themes and we can pick the dark theme so you know just something a little bit better uh bookmarks i don't want those on just because this is me, I also don't like to have the title bar up. So now it's just the tabs directly at the top. We don't have that random bar, which literally just says customize Firefox. That's it. That's all it ever says. So we can actually just disable that and get just a, just to squeeze more screen real estate in there. Okay, so we're done in here. We can go to preferences for the search engine. We're gonna be using DuckDuckGo. And disable top sites. I don't want those on there. Um, the, the homepage itself, I'm just opening a new tab just so it goes straight here and because we've disabled everything it's super clean uh, so I just clicked use current page so it's going to use the new tab page whenever we open this and we've disabled everything else there we don't need any of that stuff so we can just close this uh, I don't care about that so we're going to close that uh, just open Firefox clean clean now to change terminal just so it opens better if we want it just to open full screen all the time we can just click these little three dots here go down to preferences so now that we're in preferences we can go to the profiles down here we'll go to the unnamed one or you can add a new one if you want and then in here you just change this to whatever you want i think 511 is the highest one that we can do so we're just going to change both of them to 511 so that will make the height and the width and everything uh, the, the proper size so if we open a new terminal now it opens full screen. Let's just check for updates again. Superpath update. 
Make sure everything's good. And there's 50 packages to update, so let's do it again. So app upgrade, yes. So these packages are no longer required, so we're gonna clean it up. So we're gonna do sudo app auto remove. It's gonna get rid of everything that's not needed anymore. Okay, everything's cleaned up. There is one more thing we can do here. So we'll do sudo app install htop. And htop. So this shows all of the system usage. So right here you can see all the threads for the CPU. Uh, how many tasks are going, everything about the computer and basically everything that's running. So that's another very useful tool that you can have on here. So anyway, that pretty much wraps this up. I don't know, if you like this, then like the video or comment on some other tools or something that I could have installed. Um, or like, subscribe if you want, or don't. I'm, I'm not telling you what to do.